Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to keep composed as you just saw right there on the scoreboard. This was an insane lobby going up against some crimson, some of them had purple flames, some had red flames. So this lobby had everything man. Let's break the gameplay down and show you exactly what I did to stay composed. Okay, so starting off on this P1, we're actually on the bad side which is actually really unfortunate and really terrible for this map. It's quite difficult on this map I, I think to be honest to start on the bad side. But I don't know how we've actually managed to get out of it. We've done really well. My team is to push through and now I'm like okay you know what i don't know what's happening here i don't know exactly where they're going to spawn things are all over the place we go through we see that guy's leg dangling on the sky we take him out that's two down now while my teammates are pushing for those spawns all i'm going to be doing is basically playing for that scrap time you see i'm trying to jump on and off the hill trying to just play my life to be honest i don't know where they're going to come from there you go he comes behind me in that scenario you know there's just so many angles they can come from it's not really um you know, it's just not really possible to stay alive the whole time to be honest but we did okay you know we look back that p1 the fact that we got eight seconds the fact that it's an even game and we've got spawns for p2 and we were on the bad side i mean i'll take that all day long so we're gonna push through now i don't have a trophy system a lot of people ask me why don't i have a trophy system well it does depend on the play style i mean for this game i actually decided to use the dead silence because i was going to play more of an aggressive play style and try to cut the lanes but that doesn't mean i can never see on the hill and this is one of those examples where my teammates will set up in the hills uh, sorry around the hill so i'm like cool let me see on the hill and this is where it's all about your composure you've got to keep composed right now we're doing good so you know we're not too much of an issue in terms of the composure now the reason i didn't want to sit at the back of the hill here well just because i wanted to watch his front and i wanted to play a different angle just in case enemies come through but you know what we're starting off really really well my teammates on the left and let's just talk about the setup right now so got my teammate on the left and the two teammates on the right pushed out so although i'm on the hill instead of being completely useless i'm just going to watch this middle and watch the area where well i don't see anybody so i'm going to go through we spot one again my teammate on the left has just died so now i know that uh, we essentially have lost our spawns they're going to start to spawn here and those two kills right there although it's not crazy the fact that i just got a three piece while sitting on the hill it's just something you guys can try to get used to sometimes i feel like people are very like proactive when they sit in the hill try to be a bit more reactive try to expect where the enemies are going to come from and again we're starting off really really well 66 right now to nine just doing amazing right now 60 points up we're going to watch the front here as i'm going around trying to crack in this right hand side got the dead silence popped and this is where i'm trying to start to make a play so ideally i sit on the front on the left here because my teammate did die so this is a bit of a troll for me you see my teammate gets out the hill i actually don't mind that play we do end up losing this one we get one and yeah things just get really mixy there now looking back this hard point in my opinion is quite difficult to hold solo queue because the setup you want you either want to hold the back right and you want them pushing through the front door or you want to hold the front and you want them pushing through the back depending on the time of the hill so what happens is normally it depends on the spawn we go through we hear this guy a really good kill here and what i'm trying to do by myself is think okay we need to play spawns for the next hill so i'm literally playing by myself playing my life and trying to play spawns gonna jump around the corner again i'm just literally trying to play my life here waiting for the opponents trying to sound door gonna go around this corner playing very patient if we spot him we make him one shot gonna chuck the stun grenade as soon as we go around there this is a great play we go through we take our one jump around the corner unfortunately the stun wore off there but you know what good play man i'm actually happy with that play we were able to get one my teammate gets a trade and again we have the spawn so so far so good in this half but we go through on the p4 and we're just controlling the game right now as i mentioned this is a very difficult lobby a crimson lobby but you're gonna see they start to get back into the swing of things and i want to show you guys what to do how to keep composed some great shots here on the right hand side and i'm just gonna use my equipment again try to watch the spawns there while my teammates sitting on the hill i'm just trying to be as useful as possible and make sure i'm slaying around them i don't really mind if i don't get the most kills in the lobby that's not my objective my objective is to win the game and slay around my teammates which i think i'm doing a pretty good job at so i'm gonna go through the right hand side looks clear 18 seconds left this is where you do want to start to get a move when i get traded actually leading the lobby as well right now 11 kills so i mean no complaints so far up by 80 points leading the lobby with kills this is a perfect lobby so far we're gonna push through my teammates on the hill here and yeah just gonna bump the hill let him go forward and now the next hard point, right? It looks like they've got spawns there, so my initial kind of thought process here is let's get the initial break off. And yeah, so that's a bit of a weird situation because they actually lost spawns and they spawned behind us without me realizing so they kind of spawned behind us got the kills but we'll take it again we're spawning a lot closer to the hill now i'm just trying to play this rock area i don't know exactly where they're going to be this is a problem with this game without having red dots and communication from your team you don't know exactly where they're going to be sometimes unless the you kind of get four down and you guess where they're going to spawn but right now i didn't really have an idea where they were going to be so i tried to play my life i turned around guessed the wrong angle and just like that although we had the spawns we've given them a lot of time here so this is an ideal but you know what let's fight for p1 and see if we can just get the second rotation underway so we're gonna push through i get this guy one shot we managed to take him out now as soon as i take him out we're gonna go to the top pair just scout this p1 area and my main objective right i want to be on the other side 
Now, this is where a lot of people might get kind of just thinking where it doesn't really matter where you sit. But if, in my opinion, you want to set up for the hill you're going to and the hill after. So if we can control this side of the map, this dome area, we're not only setting up for P1, we're also setting up for P2. So if in a good case scenario, we're able to hold this hill and keep them spawned back, we're essentially going to get whatever, 35, 40 seconds and hold the spawn for new hardcore, which is perfect. Going to go through. I miss a lot of crucial shots there. And I'm trying to play alive again. This is probably where a trophy system will be a lot more useful. Um, one thing I am considering is switching between games, trying to get a bit more fluid with switching. Because some hills, I feel like a dead silence could suit me. But some hills, 100% the trophy would be a lot more beneficial for the team. And I need to start running it, especially right now as I am playing a bit more objective base. I need to start switching a bit uh, quicker. And that is something I'm trying to get used to in my own game. But I would recommend running a, a dead, uh, sorry, a trophy system most of the time with an assault rifle. But if you're like me and you're like playing a bit more of an aggressive AR role, then maybe dead silence will be for you. Just try both and see what you kind of like more. One thing I would say, though, trophy does benefit the team a lot more. We're going to go through the right hand side here. Now, again, we didn't do terrible there. We did okay, but they kind of split the hard point and they have the spawn, so they probably have the advantage going to this next one. And you can see just like that, we had such a big lead. And this is where you really need to start to stay composed. Okay, this is what the point of the video was because what's happening is the opponents have actually done a good job of getting back into the game right here i'm trying to go through the back here trying to just spot anybody and i feel like i'm doing a good job but in reality i'm not really impacting the game i'm actually being quite useless here and it's just one of those scenarios where in my head i was like right this is a good play we actually managed to go through we get one i get caught running the second guy takes me out and now my opponents are left in a three versus three but my teammate gets a massive cruise missile but this is where it's so important to look at the scoreboard and think, right, I know they're getting back into the game, but I have to keep composed here. You can't get complacent. You can't just keep rushing the hill because this is where comebacks start to happen, right? How many times have you been in a situation where you've been up by maybe 50, 60 points and just like that, you know, suddenly, the, I don't know what's happened, the momentum switch and now you're down by 20, 30 points. Or what about vice versa? How many times have you been down in a game and you suddenly start to get the momentum? What you have to do, if you're the team that's, you know, on the other side of it, like right now, we're on the other side of the combat, they're starting to bring the game back you need to stop the momentum at all four. So what that means is you essentially need to stop their confidence. Now, you could do that by a number of ways. One way is stopping the best player on the other team, the guy that's frying. You, you want to stop his momentum. You want to get some kills. But the main thing you want to do is you just want to start to be composed and basically just get some kills on the map. Now, I know it sounds very simple and very stupid. Obviously, you want to get kills on the map at all time. But this is the most important time. And like that four piece right there, it doesn't seem like much. But this is a perfect opportunity now because we're starting to get back into the game in terms of the game was even. We're starting to get that lead back again. Now, this hill right now, this is where you really have to focus up and make sure you're getting every single second there because what you want to do is you want to bridge that gap once again. When your team's getting, you know, similar similar results, they start to put a lot of pressure on yourself because in your head, every time you die, you're like, oh, shit, we were up by 100, now we're down. Like, what do we do? Where if you start to bring that gap, like, a bit more, just a bit more and more every single hard point, you start to feel a bit of a cushion and that could be a bit more relaxing and now you're, you know, on your rotation, you feel a bit more confident. So what we're going to do on the next hard point again is I feel like I'm playing the spawns a lot, but there's a lot of hard points where I'm trying to get involved and I'm not really getting involved. Now, in my head, I'm like, right, that, that means I'm probably going to end the game with not a lot of kills, but I know that when I am being valuable in the team is by providing the spawns, by holding the hill, doing a bit more of the dirty work, which I'm okay with. So, in my head right now, I'm thinking, right, as long as I stay composed and stick to my mission, I might end the game with, you know, maybe the lowest kills on, on the lobby, but that's okay as long as we win the game. And that's something I'm trying to get used to as well, trying to get better at because, especially, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I have not, it's not an ego thing, but it's like, because I'm recording for YouTube, in my head, I'm like, right, if I don't top frag, I'm having a bad game i don't want to post it so i've really started to get away from that mentality recently i'm like right as long as i'm doing a good job and i can explain something to you guys then it's a good video so in my head like for example this game i remember thinking halfway through the game right i'm not the top fragger but that's okay because i'm holding spawns i'm playing the cuts i'm doing the dirty work as long as i can stick to it this could 100 be a video for youtube so this is the kind of mentality i had in this game and it's working pretty well now as, as once again we're up by 45 points so yeah that was a huge huge hard point man managed to get us back into the game and i was all about the rotation we go through we get a really good lucky dive on him i'm not sure we didn't hear us but we're gonna push through i'm gonna wait for my teammates i'm looking at the mini map right my teammates there in front of me and vitals there so i'm thinking right what can i do if i can sneak up here if i can get there even if i can get some shots off and he gets a trade this would be a great scenario so we're gonna push through and that's exactly what ends up happening i do end up dying but what i've done is i've essentially scared that guy off the hill i've made him one shot but it was a little bit too little too late because my teammates weren't there to kind of trade me so it was essentially a useless gunfire but what we're trying to do here is as i mentioned keep that gap high make sure you're keeping that bridge cemented so we're gonna go through up by 40 points we're gonna go around the left hand side here and just see if i can cut anybody off there you go there's a perfect kill front of the hill my teammate 
teammate pushes through. There's three of us here. He's going to go and he's going to open up the blood. And what I'm going to do is watch the front here. And yeah, normally in that situation, I should move left or right. Because to be honest, I got very, very tunnel vision there. And I forgot about the bridge behind me, which most people do jump up. So that was just a careless play from myself. But in this situation, I'm like, right, my teammates are on the last hard point. Let me rotate to P1. Now, they can either come from my left here or from my right. And now, I'm assuming they're going to come from the right because that's where they're going to spawn. But you always have to be wary, especially middle of the game. You don't know when somebody could be flanking, when somebody can be making a water play. We go through, get a massive kill. Now, I thought there were some good shots. They could have been a bit better. But what I've done is I've made that guy weak in the window. So I've done a good job in terms of I've opened up the kills and I was able to, you know, get my teammate to get the trade. Now, in a perfect situation, I would have got the two piece and backed off and played my life. But not every scenario is going to be perfect. So you have to, you know, just make what you can. So we're going to push through. That is one dead. I'm going to try to get a kill here. Again, I'm going to play my life. There's a guy on the bottom here. I'm one shot. Again, called switching weapons. And that Dante just pushed up and he's absolutely fried us. So what he's done is he basically pushed us back. And this is where I talk about momentum and keeping composed because that four piece, what that can do to a team is that can just, they can just really set a team apart because right now we're on the back foot. 20 seconds left. They're basically going to be an even game and they've got spawned. So everything we've built towards is going to go down the drain. So we're going to have to go through. I'm playing my life. I'm literally just playing my life right now while my teammates distract us. While I'm basically distracting from my teammates. And big pom right there with a massive three piece. And what that's done is basically just give us a bit of breathing room. Now when we rotate, we should be good to go. We're going to go through. I'm going to shoulder it and make him weak. And you see right there, I've actually got the assist. So again, stuff like that is so valuable. You don't really see it on the scoreboard. But me just shouldering that, making that guy one shot. My teammate going for the top we essentially use teamwork without really coordinating much and sometimes that's what you really need to do you need to go through different angles try to take people off power position because once you do that it's so much easier to kind of combine and get onto the hill so right now i'm looking at the scoreboard and the main thing i'm thinking in my head right is can they win off this hill the answer is no they physically cannot win off this hill so what that means is whatever happens we need to be worrying about the rotation okay we need to basically do damage limitation here so i need to stop them from winning sorry stop them from getting loads of points which is exactly what that grenade did there so great nade my team is able to go through now with 20 seconds left i'm like shit we've spawned out what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna push the hill okay this is a big play i'm gonna push the hill if i die i'm okay with that now the reason why i literally full sent the hill was because there's two scenarios for me i either get the knife off and i get 15 seconds or i die and i spawn on the other side now unfortunately my teammate went for the old hill as well which i don't really like because now what we're doing is we're playing a dangerous game here we're leaving it to rotation what i wanted to happen was me in a 1v1 I either win the gunfight and get 15 seconds seconds or i lose the gunfight and i spawn with my teammates gonna go through i'm holding a really good off credit angle we managed to get one and now like right looking at the pace of the game looking at this hard point an smg will be a lot more valuable so we're gonna go through gonna go through the right hand side again reading the situation looking where my teammates are and i'm just trying to cut the lanes again trying to be as valuable as possible gonna go through we spot one we're able to take him out the stun hits me the trades are going off everything is down to the wire 230 to 228 what's gonna happen 230 to 230 who is gonna win the game if we push through we're going through the back the dead silence is pop going through the left hand side i'm going to jump around now when games are this chaotic what i always always like to do is go for the flank go for the off angles just to just do things that people won't really be expecting but it looks like the opponents were ahead of me 15 seconds left and this game is going down to the wire i'm looking at the scoreboard they physically cannot win from this situation so once again we're going to push through and once again try to play for that new hard point you see the opponents get caught in the trap they're on the old hard point and we're going to luckily enough spawn pretty close to the new hard point so what i'm going to do is push through again i know they're going to be rotating so what i want to do here is apply the the pressure we go through we get one jump around the corner we get two fantastic play the third's right there in the open we take him out and now i'm going to back off go on the hill and just like that we can breathe the game is over we managed to win the game 250 to 232 youtube i hope you guys enjoy the video again it wasn't my best performance in the world but i think it was a good performance and i think it showed a different side of my gameplay hope you guys enjoyed it and i catch you in tomorrow's video peace